Uh, welcome to Coldstream in Victoria, where we're actually under a retractable cooling roof, a Cravo X-Frame house uh, for Australian strawberry distributors. Um, in this time of year in Australia, we've uh, had some extreme weather, um, and I'm here with uh, Joe Repepi, who's the uh, owner and one of the owners and farm managers. And he's going to give us a bit run, bit of a rundown after we've experienced some extreme heat, plus 40 uh, over the last few weeks, and uh, just to see how the crops are performing under the cooling roof. Um, so, Joe, thanks for your time. No worries. Um, do you want to just give us a quick rundown on what you're seeing now, the varieties? Well, here we're um, we're growing our Cabrillo variety. Um, this last couple of weeks in in Victoria have been um, pretty. Uh, extreme um, we've had some really hot hot days of uh, sort of 40 degree days um, so in here we're growing a Cabrillo variety um, we're in a shade house as you can see so um, recently we've come through and trimmed the runners and de some of the plant um, here about two weeks ago so now we're seeing to start to see the um, the really nice big big strawberries come through um, compared to outside crops you know the fruit is a lot bigger, um, plants are more healthier. Um, so yeah, we're really looking for um, that fruit size this time of the year because, uh, you know, with extreme weather outside, it's pretty hard to um, to achieve that unless you're sort of growing in some sort of a shade house in Victoria. So yeah, that's um, that's uh, what we've been doing, and um, yeah, so far so good. So 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 what have your current challenges been over the last couple of months? Because you've had a slightly different season where it started quite cool yeah but then we've got obviously quite hot quite quickly and you've obviously got tunnel production as well so maybe you can give us an idea where where the advantages of each technology but where I suppose more so what is interested in a retractable roof uh, where you're seeing the biggest gains yeah well I mean with the uh, traditional style sort of houses that we've got up the top um, we sort of uh, we're finding that the vegetation of the plant is a lot bigger in those houses in a in the um, conventional house. Um, whereas here, predominantly the roof's always open if the weather's kind. Um, so we're getting um, a lot less vegetation, um, better fruit size. Um, you know, and when we do get those days of 40, you know, we're able to um, shade the crop um, and you know really take that UV off the plant. And as you can see, to find to get you know. That size fruit this time of the year in Victoria is uh, is unheard of. So. Okay. Okay. And uh, what are your challenges in terms of you know pest and disease at the moment? Um, yeah, we can get um, fruit pressures um, this time of the year with northerly winds. Um, at the moment, it's the 22nd of January. Um, so really, we're on the we'll come down on the um, the pest problems. Um, but around um, you know November, December. We're getting um, sort of high yields of um, thrips that blow through. Um, we're sort of being able to control that with closing the walls on the structure to stop them from blowing in. Um, and that's really about it. Um, and what, uh, in terms of, I suppose, what everybody's always counting is, you know, dollars back in the bank. So what sort of um, quantity of first grade pack out are you seeing versus well, second grade? Well, really, I think first grade pack out. I looked at it last week. It was about 96 to 98 percent first grade pack out um, with extra large fruit. I think it was, you know, um, the waste was down to like two or three percent. So um, yeah, really, not a lot of waste, which is good. Yep. Um, so yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And in terms of when it gets, uh, I suppose, to a high high radiation, high temperatures, what's your strategy with the roofs and walls? Well, on a hot day, what we tend to do is um, we'd leave all the roof, I mean, well, all the walls on the structure open um, and we'd shade the roof to about 90%. Yep. Um, so we can still get that good transition of airflow through through the structure and, um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and what are you, in terms of temperatures, you were saying earlier today, what, inside versus outside, now you don't have any high pressure mist or fog to, you know, help, help I suppose, um, any air, air temperature cooling so what are you seeing in terms of just naturally outside air temps versus inside uh, air temps inside and outside there's probably about a five degree difference mm -hmm. um, 
between the both inside and the outside. So, yeah. And you're seeing that reflecting the health of the plants? Yes, 100%. Okay. Beautiful. Well, thanks very much for your time and thanks very much for the update. Thank you.